Hello from the Music Interview Corner. Today with Camelot. Hi, Thomas. Hello, how are you doing? I'm great. Great that you're taking time for us. Oh, my pleasure. It's, uh, it's always good to be here in uh, Helsinki. Yeah, you just arrived, right? How was your flight? It was great. Um, I flew from Berlin. So we did press uh, yesterday at uh, Universal in Germany. And um, it's exciting. You know, we have a new album coming out and the response has been amazing. So we're, we're happy. Haven, it's your 11th album and it's coming out in May. I think different dates of May 5th and 8th, de yeah. depending on in which country you live. How was the recording process? Pretty intense. I mean, we started pretty much last summer uh, working on, on the record and um, every day pretty much for, until maybe about a month ago. We were working on, on Haven and a lot of uh, late nights for everybody. But um, yeah, we recorded uh, drums and um, in Tampa, Florida. The rest of the recordings were done in Germany and some in Stockholm. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's uh, been an exciting process. So you have been recording in like every home country of your band members in a way. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like uh, our keyboard player lives in Stuttgart area of Germany. So he did a lot of his uh, stuff down there. Then uh, Tommy did some stuff in Stockholm. Um, and I'm from Tampa, so. I did guitars and we did drums in Tampa. Cool. And would you say that the, the way you record albums changed over the years? Yeah, usually we would have just stayed in one studio, but now everybody kind of um, has their own recording systems, which makes it easier. Uh, we found a really cool st new studio in Tampa called uh, Lala Mansion. It's actually part of this guy's house and it's like a full state of the art studio. So he was very gracious to let us uh, use his studio. So, um, Yeah, it's, it's changed in that aspect, but it's it all still comes down to, you know, good songs and stuff like that. Do you have a personal favorite song on Haven? Um, so far, that's kind of changing as I every time I listen to it, because I like to take a, a time off between recording. And now that I'm going and listening to it, like we did a uh, listening session yesterday in Germany. And uh, so there were some new favorites, but um, I think Vale of Elysium is one. Liar Liar is one that uh, also has Alyssa from uh, Arch Enemy. Um, Under Grey Skies has also become one of my favorites. It's the ba the main ballad on the album with uh, with Troy from Nightwish and also Charlotte from Delane, on a special guest. So um, I don't know. Every every kind of week it's been changing for me, which I guess is a good testament to the the album being really strong and diverse. You know. Yeah. And you just mentioned your kind of star guests on the album, like Troy of Nightwish and Elisha of Arch Enemy and Charlotte of Delane. Uh, how was it to work with them? Oh, it's it's great. I mean, uh, usually when we have guests, it's it's people that we've toured with and uh, we're friends with. So um, we we toured with uh, Delane as a our special guest a few times, and I think Charlotte's got a really cool, unique voice, um, and Troy is such a cool guy I mean um, and so when we toured uh, North America with Nightwish uh, we became friends and we were talking about him maybe playing on my solo record or another Camelot record so when, that, when the opportunity came he was really gracious to, to be on it and I just think uh, that song turned out great Yeah, cool. It's really a great song. Thanks. <laughs> My personal favorite on the album is, at the moment, a Fallen Star. Yeah, can you tell me, is there a backstory behind it, or what was the inspiration for that song? Yeah, that was the first, actually the first song that we wrote. Um, we start, Oliver and I started with uh, with that that intro and and that, that main kind of anthemic uh, melody, guitar melody. That um, And the song is basically about about the, how we treat the earth, you know, like mm -hmm. the way that global warming is right now and mm -hmm. things like that. And one of the lines in the song is uh, uh, my song for the children unforgiven, which is which is us, the pe mm -hmm. people of the earth. Um, so it's cool to hear that you, that you like that one. It's stuck in my head for a while, it still is there. <laughs> yeah, and uh, when you founded Camelot, uh, you were only 17 years old. Did you ever think it will go that far when you did it? No, I mean, it was totally just having fun, you know, even even up to the album The Fourth Legacy, which was, you know, years later, it was pretty much a hobby. And, um, you know, I had a different background and profession and stuff. So uh, that's when I decided to make Camelot my priority. And um, so we put even more effort and, and, and time into the band and 
uh, luckily with the, with the fans, you know, the, the band's grown to to a nice level that we're that we're happy about, and we're also looking forward to getting uh, growing the band even more.